Today, I start my day as a tow truck operator, but end up on a plane flying out into the middle of the ocean to search for the Titanic and find the missing submersible. Now, the challenge is to rescue four people in the submersible with my tow truck before they implode. Welcome to my favorite city, AKA the best city. Oh, except for the traffic. But what's up guys? We are in New York City and let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this traffic here. I wonder if it's because of the scene we have up here. I'm gonna just turn on my light so we can get around it. But we are responding to a pretty bad accident scene that happened over here. And we do have the heavy wrecker already on scene. So we're gonna assist them with the car. And is this guy really taking pictures? What? I mean, it is a nice looking truck, but I mean, you can't be holding up traffic. So what we're gonna do is just park over here and assist our worker with the accident. But um, hey, hey sir, you, you're holding up traffic, man. Wait a minute there, Benny. I'm recording this truck from a YouTube channel, Billy McIntosh the Little. I'm glad you like the truck and everything, Billy, but you're holding up traffic and you gotta leave. Hey, yeah, that's that's fine with me, buddy. You New Yorkers are ace holes. There he goes. All right, perfect. So now traffic is moving. Now that we solved problem number one, which was the traffic, now we can worry about problem number two. No, not that number two. We're gonna go ahead and help out our work over here. Hey, Eddie. Yo, what's up, Ace? What's up, man? Yeah, I need your help with this one. Okay, let me go ahead and take a look at that. Oh. Help, I'm stuck down here. Is that a Lamborghini? Damn, the lady crashed a Lamborghini down there. That's crazy. Don't worry, ma'am. We're gonna get you out in a minute. Yo, Eddie. What's up? I'm gonna lower you down with the rotator. Once you get down there, you can hook up to the car. Okay, let me get this frigging equipment ready. Cool. So while Eddie's working on that, I'm gonna get the truck ready. Damn, is this part of the chair? Damn, she must have hit this area pretty hard and just launched herself down there. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna go get the truck ready. The first thing we're gonna do is put down the outriggers for extra support. Now we're gonna lift up the arm. And the cool thing about this truck, we do have this wireless remote, which really comes in handy for these types of rescues. Now that we have the arm up, we're gonna extend it out. Eddie, you good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna lift them up and nice and carefully, we're gonna try to put them over the edge. I'm gonna get ready to lower you down now. Oh no, it's the cops. NYPD, stop what you're doing. Officer, hear me out. I know this looks very sketchy, but trust me, he is safe. I'm not here by no OSHA violations. We're looking for a missing person. Is this about the guy I gave a ride to last night in Pennsylvania? Oh, not, senor. Did you give me a ride into town? Sure, man. Hop in. Oh, thanks, senor. Normally, I wouldn't pick up a hitchhiker, but he seems like a good guy. Hey, you can sit in the front seat. You don't have to sit back there. Oh, no, senor. That's okay. I'd rather sit in the back and take a nap. That doesn't look comfortable, but okay. So we just got a police call request for an emergency tow. They need us to respond. So we will be using our red and blue lights for this one, plus our siren, which lets us get past whatever's going on. There's so much traffic. What are the state police doing? I don't even know what's going on. It's gonna continue to work our way through here. Hello, I'm Trooper Davidson with the state police. We're looking for an escaped prisoner as a five foot tall male. I seen on this road wearing a prison jumpsuit. Uh, I haven't seen any prisoners, but I'll keep my eyes open for them. Is there anyone in the back of your truck? No, only tools and supplies. It's unlocked if you want to check. These guys are not playing any games. They are searching everywhere. Okay, you're free to go, sir. Thank you. I had no idea he was a killer wanted for escape in prison. Nah, it's not about that. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to jail for being his accomplice. Hey, I don't mean to interrupt the conversation, but, uh, get me down from here. Okay, now, what were you guys talking about? Listen, we need you to go down to the Titanic and rescue Mrs. Submersible with your tow truck. Wait, what? Isn't the Titanic in the Atlantic Ocean? Yeah, it's about 370 miles from here. Look, I would love to help and all, but that's a little bit too far from the coast, and I'm scared of the ocean. All right, listen, we're prepared to pay you about $2 million for your time. $2 million? Okay, sign me up. What's the plan? All right, grab your trucks and follow me. And hey lady, change of plans. We have to handle this other call, but we will be right back. 75 years later. Eddie's gonna drive the heavy wrecker. I'm gonna drive the flatbed. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a... 
pursuit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. Okay, so I don't know what that was about, but let's get into our truck and follow the cops. Time to go. We're going to follow this first officer. Looks like he's going to give us a full police escort. Let's see how Eddie's doing behind us. Looking good in the heavy. Perfect. We're going to go right through this light. So far, so good. I wonder where we're going. Oh, we're here already. Okay, that was easy. We're at the Navy Yard. This is probably where the boat is going to be at. The cop was telling me there's about four people on the submersible, so time is of the essence, and we got to hurry up. Okay, making left turn in here. What's back here? Looks like the Coast Guard is here. They got a boat. All right, first thing I need you to do is drive the heavy wreck under that barge. Your boat will tow it to the Titanic wreck site. Okay. And we're just gonna follow the directions and try to load it onto this barge. That should be good right there. All done. What's next? I right, load this submersible onto your truck. We need to get it to the airport and load it onto a cargo plane as fast as possible. From there, the cargo plane will be able to get to the wreck site faster than the boat. So we have to get this submersible loaded now, so I'm gonna move the truck. Get the truck into position. And put down the bed. Now we have to winch it up. We got it onto the truck. I went ahead and chained it down so that thing is not going anywhere. Hey, we got the sub secured. All right, perfect. Let's go. Hurry up. So we're on our way to the airport now, following the cop. They're giving us a police escort, and we're trying to get there as soon as possible. So, of course, we are going through all of these red lights. You could just make out part of the airport in the background. I see the towers, some of the radar, stuff like that. Cutting through traffic. Nice, nice. We're almost there. This cop isn't playing no games. He's letting us go through all the red lights. We made it to the airport. And let's see what we have going on here. I see they have some Coast Guard personnel. Hey, back your truck up to the plane and then load the submersible. Yes, sir. So let's get this thing loaded onto the plane. We're just gonna back up right here. We should be able to just transfer it in just like that. Looking good. Got it inside of the plane. Hey, before you go, here are a couple training documents you can need. Okay, let me take a look at them. Uh, first one, how to fly a C-130 for dummies, okay. How to skydive for dummies, wait. I'm starting to think they're implying that I'm a dummy or something uh how to operate a titan submersible this is a little bit better and why the titanic wreck site is the most inhabitable place on earth that will instantly kill you in a fraction of a millisecond oh sorry that last one's not for you wait what i'm not doing this anymore all right come on how about this we'll give you another million dollars damn three million that's life-changing money you know what all right I i'll do it i'll do it but one last question is this thing safe yeah, this sub has been certified by the Coast Guard to be safe down to like depths 13. 13 what? 1300 feet? 13,000 feet? What are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. They just wrote 13 on the paper. I'm, I'm sure you'll be okay. Flashback. Submersible crush depth test number one. That's not good. This sub is safe down to 13 feet based on the Central Park Lake test. Do not go past 13 feet or into the open ocean. Yo, plane's ready to go. Okay, let's go. We're gonna get into the co-pilot seat and go for a little bit of a flight. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous about everything that's going on, but that money, I really want that money, so we're gonna do this. I cannot believe this. They're letting me fly the plane. I, I, I Okay, I'm just gonna go along with it. So I'm gonna pull up my manual. Looks like I have to press this button right here for it to start. Here we go. Engines are on and looking good. Now we're gonna start our taxi. We're going to be heading to the active runway now. Flight 229, you're clear for takeoff. We are now ready for takeoff, so we're going to push this all the way. Oh, 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 wrong way, wrong way. There we go, we got it. I had the uh, manual upside down. My bad. All right, so now it says to pull back. Press this button for the landing gear, and look at that, guys. We just learned how to fly a C-130. Nice. I love the view. 
New York City as we get ready to depart. But more importantly, we're going to head out and search for that Titanic. We got multiple people on board and we got to find them, guys. So let's start our search. We have been flying for a while now, guys. And as you can see, there's nothing in front of us. There's nothing behind us, nothing on our sides. And that's because we are 300 plus miles out here in the Atlantic Ocean looking for this submersible. Okay, so this is the approximate area of the Titanic wreck site, but the sub could be anywhere. We're gonna drop sonar beacons into the water and use our radar to see if we can locate its exact position. We're gonna prepare to drop the first sonar device by opening up our rear. Getting ready to drop our first sonar, there it goes. And we're gonna drop a couple of them, that way we can try to triangulate the location of the submersible. So we'll drop one over there. Last one right there. Perfect. So now we're gonna use this disc on top to try to listen to the sounds and see if we can locate them. Okay, we got a hit. Marking this location, go into the cargo bay and prepare to be airdropped. I'm gonna circle us around for one more pass. Okay. Guys, we are in the back of the C-130 now flying and we're gonna get ready to drop everything so i'm going to open up the doors there we go and we're gonna get ready to drop the submersible there we go dropping in three two one drop there it goes oh it worked that was so cool oh oh we're going to pull up my chute okay we're out where did that thing land there goes the plane okay oh there it goes i see it i see it all right, let's try to land as close to it as possible. Here we go. Oh, so close. We'll try to come around for one more pass. If I can make it. Okay, we're gonna have to swim for it. Coast Guard coming. This is Coast Guard, go ahead. The sub is in the water and appears to be functioning properly. What's the status on the tow truck? Uh, they're about two hours out. Uh, start searching for the submersible. Once you find it, secure it, and then you can start rigging it for extraction. Then for All right, let's start searching, guys. We're gonna go in the water now, and let's see if we can find them. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything yet. We do have a little ways to go before we are at their altitude. The problem is it's going to start getting dark as you guys can see. The further we go down, the less light and it gets a little scary, honestly. Oh guys, we are getting a warning. Hold up, hold up. We do not want to approach crush depth. That would be very bad. So we're going to have to be careful, figure out how we're going to proceed with this mission. It seems like this thing is having trouble with standing the pressure down here. I really hope we find this before it's too late. It took us a little while, but we finally made it to the ocean floor. And now we have to search through all of this stuff and see if we can find the submersible. According to the sonar, it is somewhere in this area. So we're just going to keep searching. Oh, I do not want to get tangled up in that stuff down there. If that stuff gets into our propellers, we may be stuck down here too. We are again approaching the crush depth. Oh wait, we found the Titanic. I didn't even see this thing. So the Titanic wreck is here. So that means they must be somewhere close. The question is where, but you can see it right there, the Titanic what's left of it so now we have to keep so oh, don't get stuck in there now we got to keep searching and see if we can find them now we got to be careful that we don't get stuck in any of these lines too because that will keep us down here forever and that would be a very bad bad way to go out one of they kind of fell down one of the exhaust systems imagine they're stuck in there that wouldn't be cool don't see them all right, maybe they never made it to the Titanic, guys. But then again, the, sh the wreck is in two different areas. I know the rear of the ship, the aft, is actually located a couple hundred meters away. So let's keep searching and see if we can find anything. This hole is so tiny. We can't even see anything through it. Oh, we have the aft of the ship. Is that it? Guys, I see it. It looks it looks like our twin. There's another submersible. They're in the same one that we're in. I think they're stuck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me not get stuck in there, but we have located it. They seem to be stuck on the uh, maybe the guardrails of the Titanic. 
I'm thinking. So I'm gonna see if I can free them. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, come on. I cannot hit anything else because we're gonna really have issues with our hole. We do not wanna compromise it anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can attach to it and pull it down to freedom. Here we go. Uh, this is gonna be easier said than done though, guys. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, if I could pull it down, but I can't go too far down or we're gonna get crushed. Come on, come on, come on. We got it, guys, we got it. We freed them. Perfect, we freed them. And this thing is sinking like a ton of bricks. I think they just had a full power malfunction. They, if they could just get a little bit of thrust, they could help me pull them up. But yeah, it's just not working, guys. Our propellers is only strong enough to lift us, but not the second one. So this isn't gonna work. But the good thing is we freed them. So let's see if the, oh no, 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 no. Gotta get out of this, gotta get out of this. Okay. So let's go back up to the surface and let's see if the boat arrived on scene and maybe we can use our tow truck to winch it up the rest of the way. Uh, what I'm going to do in the meantime is just attach some more harnesses to it and I'll pull the harness up with my sub and then we should be able to use my tow truck to pull this thing out. Hopefully it works. For now, we're gonna leave the Titanic because returning to the Titanic seems to be a very bad idea. So let's get out of here. We finally made it back up to the surface. That means we'll have signal again. Now we gotta find that plane. Where are they at? Oh, there they go. Perfect. Coast Guard one, come in. This is, uh, I don't even have a call sign, but we, locate, we located the submersible and we did attach the rigging equipment to it. Where's the boat at? Hey, Rubber Ducky, this is Coast Guard 2, King 7. The boat will be arriving at your location in like, I don't know, five minutes. 10 for, wait, Col Rubber Ducky, how did I get that name? Finally, the boat is here. Let's go board it. Damn, our truck is looking good up there. It feels so good to be out of this thing. Look at all the damage it got, guys. It's honestly a miracle that I'm alive right now because, yeah, that thing is sketchy. But anyway, let's head over here. What's up, Eddie? Hey, boss. I bolted the outriggers to the barge for extra support. Perfect. Thanks. Hope it holds up. And now for the moment we have been waiting for all day, but a lot can go wrong, so we got to be careful. We do not want anybody to get hurt. First thing we're going to do is lift the arm. Eddie, I need you to get the winch attached to the rigging equipment. All right. Perfect. Now we're going to get the arm into position. Again, we got to double check for safety. We don't want anybody to get hurt. We're looking good. Now we have to extend our arm all the way out. Arm is out. Now we have to lift over 13,000 feet of line plus the weight of the submarine. And it's not looking good, guys. We're struggling a little bit. Come on. This has to work. I want that money. Oh, yeah. And plus, I don't want the people to die either. Come on, I think we're getting close. We just need this to hold on. There it is, guys, we got it, look. All right, perfect, let's keep pulling it up. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna have to lift the arm up and then rotate it onto the barn, but we got it, guys, look at that. Now, they're probably inside <laughs> falling on each other right now because of the way we're lifting it up, but hey, at least we got it. So let's attach another safety line to it. Then we're gonna try to lift it up all the way and swing it around over here. Okay, okay, we're clear. Now slowly lower it down. Nice and easy. Almost got it, gotta watch our truck. And I'm gonna try to release it now, here we go. Perfect, now we have to cut them out of there. So the deck hands are working to try to cut this thing open and free the guys from inside. Oh, I can actually see them too, look. Yep, they appear to all be alive, so that's good. All we gotta do is get them out. So we're gonna just keep cutting. Looks like they almost got it. Couple more and it should pop right open. Perfect. We have freedom. Let's get these guys out of here. Oh man, it feels so good to breathe fresh air again. I'm just glad you guys are okay. Well, it's about time. You bloody took forever. Thought I was gonna die down there. Hey man, you should be thankful we were able to find you 13,000 feet below the sea level. Yeah, well, thanks, I guess. Anyway, do you want me to wire that $20 million reward to you? What, what do you want me to do? Hey, here's our banking information. Wait, All right. what? 
20 million? You told me I was getting 3 million. What about the other 17? Uh, we're splitting it with the NYPD and the Coast Guard. So you're telling me I risk my life going down there to save a bunch of billionaires and I get the lowest amount? What does the NYPD and the Coast Guard need $8.5 million for anyway? <laughs> Donuts? Are you serious? Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys leave a comment on what I should do next and whoever comment has the most likes I will do in a future video. Also, make sure you click this video to watch me use five of my best tow trucks to repo a bunch of different construction equipment all around the city. It was a lot of fun. Click here to watch and I'll see you over there.